Hey guys, Chris Fox, Fox Painting, blah, blah, blah. Um, quick tip, hand masker, how to change out the paper for people who don't know how to use them. Um, Freaking awesome tool. So what I have on here is one inch tape. You can see it's one inch tape. And there's a little release lever that's right here. So you can kind of see right, right there, it goes up. Um, this is the old roll. No matter, just pull that off, take the one inch, kind of roll it back. You're going to have a, a little tab that's going to be right here that the tape actually goes underneath. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, basic nine inch brown paper. It's what I use for everything. Um, anything bigger than that kind of gets a little too tricky to use. Um, comes with a little piece of tape seal from Kelly Moore or whoever. Um, always take your knife. And right where this little flap is, what I try to do is I try to squeeze a knife underneath it and go like that. And just cut the cut the sticker off that way. Stupid. Cutting towards me. Always cut away from you guys. Um, remember, when you put it in, it's almost like toilet paper. You kind of want it rolling off, right? You don't want it rolling the other way or else it won't work. Push it onto the actual gauge. So what you have now is something you can pull. And you can snap it off. Again, we're going to go back to that tab. You want to pull out enough excess tape to where you can pull it off of the tab. Sneak it underneath it. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. See if we can sneak it underneath. So now you can see I have it underneath. And then you want to go right onto the paper with it. Second step, your release lever. You have to make sure that is up. And then you can actually slide your tape underneath it. Third step. Make sure that your tape is completely on and secured properly. If it's like that, if it's off of the roll, then what's going to happen is, is the tape isn't going to roll evenly on the paper. And it's going to be horse manure. You don't want that. Always make sure that's secure. Also make sure your paper is always secure. Once this is through and you have it fed to where you have a nice flat surface right there to where you can release this down and they have a nice flat surface going into it. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to pull off. A little bit so now you have a nice consistent tape and paper seam on your next pull and pull it off ideally what you want to do is I'll just give you a real quick example here's a window seal let's just say we have to mask the window in order to paint the window seal you want to obviously pull the paper the length of the window always leave it short about maybe an inch because you would want to go with inch and a half tape to tape up the seams so if you go all the way with it you're gonna mess yourself up. You want you want to leave it short so you have enough because the, the tape will cover it. Now that you have your paper and your tape is on the paper already, the best way to do it is you would obviously want to line it up to where the the metal, the bottom line of the window seal, from the window to the seal, is completely tight. I would only really do this if I'm spraying these. I wouldn't do this if I was brushing them. So at this point, you would take tape and you would tack up your corners of your paper because if you don't, just, it's just going to fall down. So what you should have all said and done is if I just steal some tape off of the beginning of the roll, you would tack that and you would tack that. So what you would have is you would have a nice, clean, mass piece of paper up against this window so if you were to paint this window sill uh, so it's nice and tight on there everything's nice and clean then obviously you always pull your masking when it's wet you would, would always want to grab from the corner and pull up and away never pull it down because now you're running now you're running your, your tape and all your masking it's a nice beautiful paintwork you just did so anytime you demask it's always wet and it's always up and it's always away so pretty much how you do it hope that helps guys